no way look at that it's in the game boys this is a stat changing bundle for zombies that just released for cold war the tracer pack covenant processing stay in the shadows till your contract arrives with the tracer pack covenant processing bundle this bundle features cryo tracer fire cryo dismemberment and cryo element damage in zombies this is the first stat changing bundle we've had zombies in a long time comes with a hudson operator skin bro this looks pretty sick the other hudson skins pretty basic suit up and move in the shadows with hudson's shadow agent operator skin comes with two stat changing weapons we got the proto type one for the c58 uh this looks pretty sick bro we're gonna test this out with pack-a-punch camos all that stuff with the wires and whatnot as always we're gonna test out all this stuff here in cold war zombies and mp and then we're gonna take it in Warzone as well we got it for the bullfrog dude look at that suppressor dude that is a clunky suppressor i actually really like this hopefully the blue and stuff glow as well we got the cold beatdown finishing move oh and then they just explode when they hit the ground all right cool we got the head count watch this she keeps track of the amount of headshots you've gotten in a game i guess if you're grinding camos we've got the cigar rest and this is a charm that is you know a glass with uh some liquid in it and it's also got a cigar sip and smoke at leisure with the cigar rest charm the deadly threat emblem and then a calling card as well boys but before we do this let's go ahead support a creator code i'm going to be entering code prestige on screen there's going to be a bunch of other codes you can also enter all right here we go first bundle i have bought in cold war in a very long time purchase complete and dude i am super excited to test out the stat changing bundle here in zombies oh look at that here it is in the menu bro this skin looks sick it's got like a chrome effect on the weapon dude and with the sunglasses dude he freaking means business all right let's go ahead give this bundle a look and oh my dude treyarch is coming with the heat with these bundles dude, this chrome effect looks insane i cannot wait to see this on like mp on a brighter map we're gonna test that on a bit dude when you ads there's a blue glow dude i gotta see how this looks like with the pack cameras if all those glowing blue parts stay the same this thing's gonna be ridiculous let's go ahead test out the tracers i mean cold war tracers just aren't as good as vanguard let's be honest but they still look pretty good yeah you can see them there and then the effect when you shoot them in the head is pretty fantastic go ahead get a better look at that bro that effect is insane but on top of that let's go ahead and give a look at the watch see if it's accurately tracking the amount of kills we have and i don't have the watch selected let me start a new game nice all right what about now Floris watch yes five headshots it shows the amount of headshots you have not the most useful thing ever but i guess that's kind of cool here is the calling card and emblem you get honestly pretty l for the calling card and emblem don't care but the blueprints you get for this 100 percent makeup let's go ahead and start grinding it out that way we can pack a punch these we also got to get the bullfrog i think that's a wall buy on this map while i'm doing that if you're new here want to sub i would greatly appreciate that and on top of that i gotta give a massive thanks if you like comment and watch this video in its entirety as those things really do help like no joke leaving a comment helps me out a ton and when you look at that there's a bullfrog right here go ahead apply blueprint because that works all right i think this is probably going to be the cooler of the two the bullfrog dude look at that the magazine is that glowing or is that just reflective because it's chrome dude i think this is going to look really bright on a brighter map look at that look at the look at the suppressor on this it's got the big square suppressor got the same tracers same cryo effect oh let's go zombies every time i make a review like this people ask what i mean by stat changing if you look at the bottom right of the screen right now you'll see that we have cryo freeze obviously we haven't turned on pack a punch because we haven't even gotten all the parts for it so how do we have an ammo mod on v spawn in with pseudo ammo mods this is not the full version of cryo freeze it doesn't have the effects that cryo freeze does but any boss type that is weak to cryo freeze you will be doing extra elements damage which is pretty massive on this map if you spawn in with uh turned or fire one of those you can take down this first boss way quicker uh, so unfortunately cryo freeze isn't going to help us too much on this map but you know what is weak to cryo freeze panzer so if you spawn in with these weapons on outbreak you'll be able to take out those early game panzers a lot easy oh my god of course we go down you'll be able to take out those early game panzers a lot easier using this variant like you're going to be able to take them down twice as fast before you've even had the money to pack a punch which is going to be mainly helpful on outbreak or even mauer or toten taking out that first panzer before you open up pack all right pack a punch time let's go go ahead pack a punch this we'll check it out in a second go ahead pack a punch this all right now let's head to spawn and see what glows and what stays when you pack a punch these weapons boys i'm pretty excited for this trying it out here on forsaken the bullfrog looks pretty sick i actually really like it dude i like the suppressor i'm gonna keep the suppressor on because i feel like it adds a lot to this blueprint there's a little bit of the bluing lights i mean it's not the most impressive thing ever on the bullfrog but it's still pretty interesting now moving over to the c58 and you can still see the wires none of the glowing effects stay when you put a pack a punch camo on but it still does have this insane sight i really do like this sight a lot 
so yeah that is it this is the c58 once pack a punched and we're not going to test the rest of the camos because it's going to look the same and then here is the bullfrog when you put on the pack a bunch camos this thing is actually just a chrome weapon here's what it looks like in a brighter environment unfortunately you can't see any of the light up stuff that's really only going to be seen in zombies and we also got to look at the charm right there but let's go ahead start testing out all the different mastery camos so here is the gold m p camo and it doesn't look bad it kind of fits the chrome actually i don't hate this it doesn't really cover any of it but i i don't hate it at the same time kind of weird here is the mp diamond on the camo and it pretty much covers it up if we were playing uh, in a darker map we'd still see the lights around the scope moving on to our first final tier camo dm ultra from mp oh no oh no you know i don't hate it it kind of matches the chrome the dm ultra kind of matches the chrome it's not the worst thing ever i kind of wish it covered a little bit more but it's all right here is the gold from zombies and it does the exact same thing as the original one here is the plague diamond and yeah it kind of doesn't fit this one too well and then here is the dark ether camo on the c58 and it looks pretty sick honestly i kind of like the dm ultra the most i like seeing that wide array of the chrome and then also having the dm ultra in the front and the back but yeah how do you feel about this weapon look at that i don't know which of the two i like more i like the fact that the suppressor has also got the chrome stuff on it as well so let's go ahead start looking at the camo so here is the mp gold on it and ooh, actually that kind of works it kind of you know i like the chrome mixed with the gold maybe dm ultra will look pretty well as uh pretty good as well there's the diamond the diamond kind of covers up everything not a huge fan of that here is the dm ultra dude i like it i like the way it mixes with the chrome i really do i like the dm ultra quite a bit hopefully the dark Aether looks just as good moving into the zombie camos here here's the golden viper yeah i think we'll go ahead and pass on that here is the zombies diamond camo uh there's there's that you know kind of basic and then last but not least is the dark aether camo in zombies and i think dm ultra once again was my favorite dunna, dunna. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I get the finishing move off on the bot. Here we go. So look, we punch him in the face, we stick a grenade on him, and then we kick him down, and then he just straight up explodes. That is an awesome finishing move. You know, you just throw a grenade on him. Here is the charm on the bullfrog. You get to see it a little bit better. It does look like it lights up. The cigar on it does have a little bit of lighting to it, as you can see. So overall, pretty sick charm, but I'm probably not going to use it after this. I almost forgot. Let's go ahead, check out the hands, and the hands are interesting. They appear to be a little bit bugged. Over on the right side, you can see the jacket clipping through the hand. Just a teeny bit there kind of cool but overall if you showed me these hands i wouldn't even be able to guess these were hudson's hands but i mean it's not like a super flashy operator with glowing stuff so overall the hands are just kind of boring but that's to be expected with this type of skin time for warzone let's go this is what hudson looks like in the menu i mean looks exactly like what you thought it would let's go ahead test out the different camos on the different weapons here we can actually test out mp and zombies gold on the bullfrog is a definite l diamond on the bullfrog kind of an l same thing with dm ultra what about the zombies camos any of these look good i'm not really digging the camos too well here we're gonna run it with no camos the camos just didn't really seem to pop too much hopefully these all still glow once we get in game gold actually it covers pretty much the same as it does in yeah once again the dark aether doesn't cover the entire thing like it does in cold war but uh, it does look like the blue stays. The blue from the glowing part didn't stay when you put on camo. So we're going to run this one with the dark aether. We're going to run the bullfrog with nothing. Let's go ahead and test out how these bad boys look like in Warzone. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh, I'm terrible at this game. But here's the bullfrog, dude. I, I like this one better. I really like how the bullfrog looks. That blue glowing on top looks sick. Here's what the tracers look like. They look all right. They're not the craziest thing ever. Same thing with the death effects. Definitely not. Oh, okay, come on. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Oh, my God. Uh, let's check out the c58 the death effects aren't the most insane thing ever i think that's one thing i've got to give vanguard props for the tracers and death effects in vanguard are just straight up the best we've seen like they they legitimately are so let's go ahead drop down here where there's no enemies nearby this is the c58 here in warzone and it's it's all right the blue doesn't glow near as much i don't even see the ring on this what if we hop into a darker area can we even see the ring on the scope wait no they got rid of the blue glowing ring ah rip that was like one of the coolest parts about this i really like that blue ring that glowed let's go ahead test out the tracers once again yeah the tracers pretty basic here in warzone this bundle isn't the coolest thing ever if we're going to be honest it's just nice to see new content with a little bit of effort 
Honestly, the stat changing effects, probably the best part of this, being able to spawn in with Cryo Freeze really helps for Outbreak and Onslaught especially, where it's extremely rare to get ammo mods. Being able to spawn in and do more damage for Panzers is insane. Yeah, but with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Let me know how you feel about this bundle, if you plan on getting this bundle yourself, and what you'd rate out of 10. I think I'd give this bundle a 5 out of 10. It's good. It's, it's one of the best bundles we've had in a while, but it just doesn't compete with some of the other crazy stuff we've got. But the weapons are just kind of simple and elegant. So a 5 out of 10, pretty good for what we're getting here. Let me know what your guys' ranking is. If you guys want to see more bundle reviews like this, as always, whenever we get new bundles that are cool, I go into a fully depth review where we test it out in all the different modes. And if you love to like or comment, I appreciate you so freaking much. I'll see you guys in the next one. A peace. I want to give a massive thanks to everyone who became a Twitch sub or a YouTube member and an extra special thanks to those who have taken above and beyond and became an Unlock Plus Plus member here on YouTube. We got the GOAT Positive Expert, the most OP gobblegum ever, Round Robin, the 2X Trader Purple, the absolute legend, Nick G, the massive Chad Noah, and the craziest story arc ever scar.